called śruti. Śruti means the subject matter which is without devotion, simply we go on hearing for millions of years. Oh, that will not also not. Bhakta Sruta Gita. This is the process of understanding absolute knowledge. Please note these points. Uh, what are the process? First thing is that one must be faithful. Second thing is that he must be thoughtful. The third thing is that he must have knowledge. What is that knowledge? I am not this body. And then uh, uh, detachment. As soon as I am convinced that I am not this body, then why should I take so much care for the body? Let me take, up my, take care of myself. And as soon as these qualifications are fulfilled, then you can see within yourself what you want. Pashyanti atmanam cha atmani. And uh, all these things is on the basis of devotional service and by the process of hearing from the authoritative source. These are the qualifications for understanding absolute truth. Now, atapang vidija sreshtha varnasrama vibhagasa sanusthitasya dharmasya samsiddhi haritosana. Now, it is clearly stated here that what is that absolute truth? Because as, as soon as you understand absolute truth, then there must be a, a, a process of activity. Uh, uh, the process of activity, just like we do sometimes business, first of all we understand each other uh, and make an agreement. Then there will be business procedure. And then next stage is profit. Uh, anyway, you take it, suppose, a, a, a boy and a girl agrees to get themselves married. So that is called agreement. Yes, I shall marry you, uh, you shall become my husband, you shall become my wife. That is agreement. Then the, they should live together as a husband and wife. And, and the result is that they get good child, uh, very nice child lovely child. So everything, first there is to establish relationship. The next work is to act on that, on that relationship. And the result, and the, then enjoy. So similarly, if we understand what is absolute truth, the absolute truth is already mentioned, that we understand the absolute truth in three phases. First of all, impersonal Brahma. Second, <coughs> uh, localize Paramatma, Super Soul. And the ultimate, last is the Supreme Personality of God. So if you at all understand that Supreme Personality Godhead is the cause of all causes, I am also one of the effects of that cause, uh, then what is your duty? That duty is mentioned here, that atapang bhi dija sreshtha varnāsama vibhāga. So uh, the uh, speech was being delivered by Sutta Goswami amongst great sages. So he is addressing, my dear learned Brahmins, all the sages, they are Brahmins. So my dear learned Brahmins, atapang bhi dija sreshtha varnāsama vibhāga. According to the division of social system, what are the division? The first class man is a Brahmin, full of knowledge, spiritual knowledge. The second class man is the administrator, maintaining the state. Oh. And the third class man, economic development, mercantile people. And fourth class man, the laborer class. This is the division of the society. And, and uh, there is division of spiritual advancement. What is that? That brahmachari, the beginning of spiritual life. Then grihastha, householder, 
to live just like gentleman with responsibility, with spiritual view, householder. Then uh, manaprastha, retired life. Then sannyas or renounced life. These are the divisions, varnasama vibhava. Oh, varna means four divisions of the social system, and ashram means four divisions of spiritual enlightenment. So uh, here it is said, my dear uh, Brahmins, learned Brahmins, uh, according to the division of the social status and spiritual status, everyone's duty is, uh, what is that duty? Sānuṣṭhitasya dharmasya. Everyone has got particular, specific occupational duty. A Brahmin has got his occupational duty, the Kshatriya has occupational duty, similarly Brahmachari, householder, and retired, everyone has got specific duty. That is mentioned in all the shastras, in the Bhagavad Gita is also that is mentioned, and in the Srimad Bhagavatam is also mentioned, and one is to be understood what he is according to his quality and work. Not by but. Uh, uh, when it is deformed, it is taken uh, on the basis of birth. <coughs> but actually, in the uh, shastras or scripture, there is no question of birth. Anyone can become a Brahmin, anyone can become a Kshatriya, anyone can become a Sannyasi, anyone can become a Brahmachari, provided he acts according to the quality of the work. Uh. So uh, here Srimad Bhagavat, Sanu Sanustitasya Dharmasya. Everyone has got a particular type of occupation and duty, uh, but the ultimate uh, goal of that duty is Sangsiddhi uh, Ritoshana. Uh, if you want to make perfection of your duty, then uh, you have to satisfy the Supreme Law. It doesn't matter what you are. Uh, you may be a brahmachari, you may be a householder, you may be a, uh, in the renounced order of life, and uh, you may be a liberal class, you may be a brahmin, or you may be an administrator, whatever you may be. It, that doesn't matter. But your duty, your occupational service will attain perfection when you try to satisfy the Supreme Law by your occupation. That is called Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, there is no harm that one is uh, born uh, a liberal class or uneducated or one is very learned or one is born of a very high family. These material qualification has nothing to do for spiritual evolution. Spiritual evolution is that you have to satisfy with the uh, with your talent, with your capacity, with your work to satisfy the supreme law. That is your perfection. Uh, that is your perfection. It does not mean suppose you are a businessman uh, and you are doing some business. Now it does not mean that because you are businessman your perfection will be when you become a man like Rockefeller or Ford. Oh, that is not perfection. Perfection is that whether you are satisfying the Supreme Law oh, by your occupation. It doesn't matter what you are doing or what, you are, what is your income. Oh, you will be surprised to know that Lord Chaitanya had a very poor uh, friend uh, in his childhood. He had a poor friend. His name was Sridhar. Uh, his income was daily, uh, in those days, 500 years before, his income was, say, about 5 cents daily. Uh, not even that. Uh, suppose 5 cents. So out of that 5 cents, he would spend 2 half cents for Ganga Puja, for worshipping. Mother Ganges. And with the balance at uh, two half cents, he will maintain his family. Oh. So, similarly, there are many instances. So, it doesn't matter the, what is your income, five cents 
or five hundred dollars. Oh. You must try to satisfy according to your capacity the Supreme Law. Oh. That's me. There are many examples. Just like Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami is the direct disciple of Lord Chaitanya. When he retired from his service, he was government minister. Oh. He brought home uh, golden coins, a full, a, a boat full, a full of boat. That you just imagine how much uh, the amount was. But he divided like this. Fifty percent of his accumulated wealth he spent for Krishna. Oh. Oh. There are many expenditures for Krishna. If you ask jo, how we can spend for Krishna, the Society for Krishna Consciousness give you very nice program. Uh, if you have got millions of dollars to spend, we can give you program. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we are not getting uh, But our program is ready. Uh, for Krishna Consciousness, we can spend any amount of money. Uh, so uh, Rupa Goswami, he gave fifty percent to the persons who are working for Krishna Consciousness. Twenty-five percent he gave to his relatives oh. because they expect something. If I am a family man, I got my children, my wife, so they expect uh, uh, something. So they must be given. But twenty-five percent, not all, and twenty-five percent he kept for himself uh, so that in times of emergency, because as soon as my money is gone out of my hand, I have no control. Oh. Uh, we have recently lost six thousand dollars. As soon as the check is out of the hand, and uh, not here in our New York, uh, so as soon as the check is out of hand, now it is gone. It is gone. Therefore, uh, we should keep something because after all we have got this material body. Either I pay to Krishna, come on, Krishna consciousness spend that cannot be returned. Now if I uh, give to my uh, relative something. That is also not returned. Then what to mean if I am in danger, if I am in some difficulty? So something must be kept for you also. So <clears throat> this is the process. So uh, everyone should try. Uh, now it is uh, it's clearly stated that sānuṣṭhitaśya dharmasa saṅsiddhi. Saṅsiddhi means the complete perfection. Complete perfection is to satisfy the Supreme Law. Sānuṣṭhitaśya dharmaśya saṅsiddhi harito uṣana. Now how to make satisfaction uh, of the Supreme Law that is stated here. Tasmā deke na manasā bhagavān sāsatāṁ apatihi sotabhya kītita-vyaśya dheya pujyaśya nittaśa the satisfaction is how you can satisfy the Supreme Law. They, that is also stated here. What is that? Ekena manasa with, with uh, one attention. Uh, not dividing your attention to uh, so many things. Simply, uh, uh, I mean, say, fixing your attention on the Supreme Law. Tasmadikena Manasa Bhagavan. Now here he the Bhagavad does not say Brahmati Paramatvati. The absolute truth is Brahma Paramatman Bhagavan. That is mentioned. But here, when I have to give attention, then must be the Supreme Personality of God. <clears throat> Otherwise, where I am going to give attention? If the impersonal feature, if I think. Uh, impersonal feature. Oh, it is very difficult. Where to fix up my mind? Uh, therefore, impersonal feature, Brahma is not same. Ek enamunasa. Then, super soul. <coughs> super soul is within you. Uh, that is understood by meditation. Impersonal absolute truth is understood by philosophical process, speculation, and the super soul is understood by meditation. So, <clears throat> and Bhagavan, Bhagavan is practical, just like we are uh, interested in Krishna, here is Krishna, Krishna's form is there, Krishna's scholar is there, 
Krishna's helmet is there, Krishna's advice is there, Krishna's instruction is there, Krishna's sound is there, everything Krishna. Everything Krishna. There is no difficulty. <coughs> but if you uh, turn your attention to the impersonal and to the super soul, it is very difficult. It is very difficult. Uh, you cannot <coughs> fix your attention to the impersonal. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that klesa adhikatara stesham of bhaktya sakta chitasam. Those who are attached to the impersonal feature of the absolute truth, uh, their uh, business is very <coughs> troublesome. Very troublesome. Uh, not like that, chanting, dancing, and eating. Uh, it is very nice. Uh, uh, that is very troublesome. Uh, speculate, this is not, this is not, this is not Brahma, this is not Brahma. Go on. And the uh, result will have to achieve by working so hard for many, many lives, you will have to come to Krishna. Bhavanam, Jirvanam, Ante, Gyanaman, Prabhupadate. This morning we have been discussing this sloka. So <coughs> here also Bhagavad says that uh, tasma de kena manasa with your one attention. Tasma de kena manasa bhagavan sakatam kuti. Uh, you have to uh, fix your mind on the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sātvatāṅapati. Sātvatāṅapati is the master of the devotees. Uh, which Bhagavā? There are many Bhagavā. Uh, because uh, nowadays uh, we have manufactured many Bhagavā. But here it is said that Bhagavā means Sātvatāṅapati, uh, who is accepted by uh, great devotees, just like Brahma, Shiva, uh, not that by ordinary public one has been accepted, oh, here is incarnation of God. No. So that God is uh, Krishna. Uh, that conception of God is Krishna. Because in the uh, Bhagavad Gita you find, matta nannat paratanam asti. Uh, Krishna says that there is nothing beyond me. There is nothing beyond. Aham saravasya prabhava matta saravam pravattate. I am the origin of everything. Matta saravam pravattate. Everything emanates from me. Iti matva. One who knows this. Iti matya. Bhajante ma buddha bhava samanita. Those who are actually learned, where he knows it and therefore he becomes my devotee. In the Brahma Sangita also it is stated, Ishara Parama Krishna. There are many gods. Uh, but who is the Supreme God? The Supreme God is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Parama means the Supreme. Uh, you may be your God, I may be God, and there are many gods. But Krishna is the Supreme God. Nobody is above. <coughs> Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radhi Govinda. Uh, he has no cause. Uh, anadi. Uh, he is causeless. We have got cause. He is causeless. Uh, anadi Radhi Govinda. Hmm. Govinda means he is pleasure of, uh, he is the reservoir of all pleasure. Govinda. Anadi Radhi Govinda. Sarva Karana Karana. Cause of all causes. So here yeah, it is said that that Bhagavan. Who is Sattvatāgapati? That means there are many great, great devotees, stalwart devotees, acharyas and teachers, and for, for all of them, he is the master. Sattvatāgapati, and uh, what is to be done about him? Srotabhya. He has to hear about him. Where I can hear? Oh, when he speaks himself. Why don't you hear there? Uh, how can you know the Supreme, the cause of all causes? Uh, nobody can explain. But when he explains himself, you can hear. That is Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Krishna is explaining himself. Uh, suppose if you want to know me or know something about me, you can ask uh, some friend, oh, how is Samidhi? 
uh, he may say something, other may something. But when I explain to you myself, this is my position and this, that is perfect. That is perfect. So <clears throat> if you want to know the absolute Supreme Personality of Godhead, you cannot speculate, neither meditate. It is not possible because your senses are a very imperfect. Oh. So what is this? Ah. Wait. They just hear from Him. So He has kindly come to say Bhagavad-gītā, śrotabhya, just try to hear. śrotabhya and kīti-tabhvaśta. If you simply hear and hear in the uh, class of Krishna consciousness and go outside and forget, oh, that is not nice. Uh, that will not make you improve. Then what is kīti So whatever you are hearing, you should say to others. <clears throat> that is what Therefore we have established back to God. The students are allowed. Whatever they are hearing, they must be thoughtful and right. Kītita-bhastha. <coughs> Not only simply hearing, oh, I am hearing for millions of years, still I cannot understand. Because you do not uh, chant, you do not repeat what you have heard. You have to repeat. Kītita bhāścā, śrūtapya kītita bhāścā dhyā. And how can you write or how you can speak unless you think of it? Uh, you are hearing about Krishna, you have to think, then you can speak. Otherwise not. So sotapva kitvascha dhya and pujascha and you should worship. Therefore we require this deity. For worship. We have to think of, we have to speak, we have to hear, we have to worship, pujascha. Then occasionally no nitasa. Regularly. Regularly. Nitasa. This is the process. So if anyone who adopts this process, he can understand the absolute truth. This is the uh, clear declaration of Simad Bhagavatam. Thank you very much. Any question? Can ask any question? What you have heard? Yes. What is the source of life? Not uh, the only thing. I'm referring to it in the spiritual sense of the word. What? And what is the source of life? I don't mean uh, to ask you, Brahma is the source of life. Uh, for example, I mean, is sound create life? Yes. Sound create life. That is the scientific truth. From ether, sound is created. From sound, fire is created. From fire, oh, no, from sound, air is created. From air, fire is created. And from fire, water is created. From water, land is created. This is nature's law. But where the ether is created, that you have to search out. If you go upstairs where ether is created, then you come to God. Therefore, from God everything is created. Ether is this subtle form of matter. Then it becomes gross, grosser. Oh. So the, the grossest is this material, this matter, I mean the earth. And the finest in the material is the ether. And finer than the ether is the mind. And finer than the mind is intelligence. And finer than the intelligence is the soul. And we the source of soul, the Supreme Lord, therefore the Supreme Lord is everything. What is that? Somebody, I heard or read somewhere that Christ had studied in India. Is this true? Yes, I have also heard, but I, I do not know whether it is true. Maybe. 
because India is the place of learning from China, from other places, from Greece. The history says they used to go to India, so quite possible. And I have heard from reliable source that Christ was absent from his home for twelve years, and he went to India for studying. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Well, you mentioned about how you should fulfill the um, supreme law, and you should be what, what, what your, what your spirit tells you, or what this uh, supreme being, whatever it is, tells you. I mean, like if you, like uh, if you meditate a lot, you know, and then you you really, um, well, you feel something that you you should do something. You know? Oh, it is not something. It must be actual fact. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, there is no question of something. Well, I, something is vague. Well, I, yeah, I, you I, must speak. What is that something? Um, well, let's say be uh, to, uh, to live uh, That you cannot express. That means you have no idea. So you have to learn. This is the process. I am, I am speaking of the process. So if you want to uh, have knowledge of absolute truth. The first thing is basic principle is uh, faith. Oh. Then you must be thoughtful. Then must you must be uh, devoted, and you must hear from authentic sources. Oh. In this way, these are the different methods. And when you come to the ultimate knowledge from Brahma platform to uh, Paramatma platform, then Paramatma to the Supreme Absolute Personality of Godhead, then your duty shall be to satisfy the Supreme Personality of God. That is the perfection of your active life. These are the problems. These are the process, and it is concluded that therefore everyone, never mind what he is, he is uh, duty is to satisfy the supreme personality of Godhead. And how we can satisfy? We have to hear about him. We have to speak about him. We have to think about him. We have to worship him, and that is regular. That will make sense. If you have no worship, if you have no thought, if you have no hearing, if you have no speaking, and you are simply uh, thinking of something, 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 that something is something, it is not God. So you yeah, don't know that I am speaking, that you have to know in this process. We are all don't know. So we have to know this is the process. Yes. Since we don't yet understand the Supreme Law, because we only just new to this, how can we speak about it without Therefore you have to hear. First thing is Srutha Vyā. You have to hear. Unless you hear, how can you speak? We are therefore giving you facility to hear. You hear and then you can speak. Then you can think. We are giving all facilities. To hear, to speak, to think, to worship. This is the society's work. Unless you hear, I can speak. The first uh, uh, I mean, task is given. Sūta bhyā kītita bhasya dhyā pujyasya nittasā. These are the process. You have to hear. And hearing, you have to repeat 
uh, chant, and then uh, you have to think, you have to worship. Uh, these are the processes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we so we can hear, but do we we speak or do we listen for a long time and then speak or do we? Do no, we why? Suppose you hear two lines, <coughs> or you repeat that two lines. Now uh, a- anything, suppose uh, leaving aside everything. Now hear Hare Krishna, or you can chant Hare Krishna. What is the difficulty there? Srotamya kīrtitam vāsca. You have to hear and chant. So if you cannot remember all the topics which are, uh, uh, talk, I mean, say, speaking from Bhagavad-gītā, Arsanat, Bhāgavatam, uh, then you can at least remember this Hare Krishna. Therefore, it is the, the easiest process. You hear Hare Krishna and chant Hare Krishna. Then other things will come automatically. Now, yeah, this is uh, possible for everyone. Even the child can uh, repeat Hare Krishna. What is the difficulty? You hear Hare Krishna and you chant Hare Krishna. We are not giving you very uh, difficult, uh, troublesome <coughs> task. Then everything will follow. We are giving you everything. But if you feel in the beginning to be difficult, uh, then you can you can do this. This is very nice. Hare Krishna. We are doing that actually. Uh, somebody is speaking and hearing and uh, chanting. This process will help you. Savanam kītanam mishna smaranam pādasīvanam mākchanam bandhanam dāsyam sakham mātmani vedanam. The sarvanam, hearing and chanting, is the basic principle of advancement in spiritual life. Without hearing, uh, we shall simply concoct, simply waste our time and mislead people. We have to hear from the authority source. Bhagavad has recommended 
hearing, chanting, thinking, uh, just hearing, chanting, thinking, and worshiping. The process which we just now introduced on the advent of Jagannath Swami. Now this temple is now completely uh, uh, fixed. So this worshiping process, this is the worshiping process. Uh, by light, uh, this is called aratri. So at the end of kirtan, this aratri will go and the worshiping process is to take uh, the heat of the light and uh, whatever your condition is, pay something for the world. Uh, so this simple process, if you follow, you just see how you realize the absolute truth. Another that I request you, all the devotees, when you come to the temple, you bring one fruit and one flower. If you can bring more fruit, more flower, it is very good. If not, it is not very expensive, one fruit and one flower, and offer to the rich. Oh. So I request you, uh, when you come to the temple, to bring this. Whatever fruit it may be, it does not mean that you have to bring very costly fruit. Any fruit, whatever you can afford, a one fruit and one flower. and distribute prasadam. Nice preparation. Mm. 
All glories to the cookers. जगन्नाथ धामी नयन पथ धामी भव तुम्हें आवाज रिपीट दिस जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भव तुम्हें यस दिस विल बी चैंटेड जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी भव तुम्हें Why is going on? Ask him to come. Please, please take prasadam. Give him.